Hi guys, my name is Yudi and welcome to my channel. <laughs> so today I'm going to show you how to convert from CM to sorry, I'm going to show you how to convert from foot to inches and inches to CM um on your power query editor. So just like um uh, just like this column for instance, this column has uh, foot and inches this was actually um this was a data set that i partook in on the twitter space for data cleaning so if you have um same issue you can also follow same steps just um for your conversion so this was a height column with all these um inconsistent measurements and i had to make everything cm so that it will be easy to visualize and all that so let me just show you uh, so I cancel this let me just show you the formula I used so to convert to your inch you know we had five foot six inch five foot um, seven inch so to convert your foot the rise foot times 12 that is this five times this 12 is your inch so you get the new inch let's say your new inch is 60 and you're going to add it to your already existing inch which is 72 which makes it 72 so after getting your inch you will now convert it to cm so that it's going to be uniform with others um for your cm one inch is 2.54 so you do one divided by 2.54 which will give you 0 0.93701 inch for one cm i hope you understand what i just explained if not please you can just watch the video again you know, or you can just drop a comment for me in the comment section please if not subscribe to my channel please subscribe and also like this video so that i can get to more people thank you so let's get right into it so first we're going to um, create two conditional columns one introducing 12 and the second one introducing the decimal 0 0.39 so let's create that so i'm going to minimize this and for you to do that you go to your add column and you go to conditional column so we want to introduce we're going to create two conditional columns for adding and for for adding 12 and for adding the decimal so what i'm going to call it i always like calling it what i'm going to remember i'll just put multiply by 12 multiply by 12 column and um, column name is height operator ends with so we are look, we're going to search for ends with so we're going to say if column ends with cm outputs if column ends with cm output one because one times you know whatever is still one is still the is still the number so else it should output 12 so we're going to have 12 12 12 and where you have foot and inches it's going to output 12 for us so okay So our first column is created so let's create the second conditional column anytime you create a new column it's going to take it to the end of um, your columns so the next um, conditional column anomaly highlight and go to conditional column so now we want to introduce the 0 0.39 so let's say multiply i'll still use multiply multiply by 0 0.39 let me just put 39 then column name is height operator if it ends with cm ends with cm output one so i'm not going to touch those cms else so let's get the exact um, decimal 0 0.393701 0 0.393701 okay so now we've created our conditional um, columns down so let's go start working on the columns on the height column now um height where are you Okay. 
okay so this is the height um first i'm going to divide i'm going to um separate the foot from the inches so my delimiter is going to be this inch what was this called this um apostrophe or whatever it's called <laughs> forgive me <laughs> so i'm going to let's cancel this so i'm going to split column um so i'm going to split column by delimiter and um i'm going to put custom and um i'm going to put the delimiter i want to separate that's it no i want the single one so that's it so this will separate the foot the foot from the inches so i say okay so it has created height two for me so because this doesn't have it it's going to give null so now i want to multiply height one now i have my foot so i'm going to multiply height one with 12 but before I can multiply height 1 with 12, I need to remove the CMs. Because with this text format, you can't do multiplication. You can see your standard is not highlighted. So you can't do any multiplication until you change the text format. So I have to remove the CMs. So what do I do? I right click and I replace value. So my replace value, I'll set CM replace with nothing. And I say OK. So it takes out the CM, then I will change the text format. You can decide to take change to whole number or decimal. So in this case, I'm going to work with whole number. So could I just anyone? So now that I've changed the text format, you can see my standard is activated. So I'm going to bring that multiply column closer. So we're doing 12 first. So I'm going to take it, uh, move it to the beginning because it's a long way. If I start from the front, it's easier for me to drag closer. If I start dragging from the back, it will take more time. So dragging from the front. So you just move it to the beginning, then you drag to where your height is or to where the column you're working on. So this is my height. So I just put it here. So I have my height and my column. So you can see if this multiplies by 170 multiplies by 1 just to give me 170. So I'm going to multiply these two columns together. So multiplying it now, I'm converting it to inches. So I'm going to highlight both. So you hold down your control to highlight both. And go to standard. And click multiply so now it has multiplied now I have inches now so I need to add this multiplication to the other inches hope you're following so now we've converted the foot to the inches the next step so now we've converted the foot to inch so the next step is to add this um the new inch and the already existing inch together so we're doing addition right now so i'm going to move this to beginning so you can rename it you can change it from multiplication to new inches depends on you so that you don't get confused because at the end of the day when you're true you're going to delete them off So we are true with these two columns now, but you can just leave it. And um, so I'm, I'm supposed to add this and this together. But because this is a null, I have to replace, replace it with zero. Because 170 plus zero will still give me 170. So you click on your height two and you replace value. So you are replacing null with zero I click on OK 
So after replacing, you change your text to, should we do whole number here? Okay, let's do whole number here. Change your text to whole number, your format. Sorry, change your format um, to whole number. So as I've changed it now, you can see the standard has highlighted. So we're going to add these two columns together. This is the newly acquired um, inches and this is the old one. So we're going to add these two together to get the inches. So you hold on your control to highlight the second column. Then you click on your standard and you add. So it automatically creates a new column for you for your addition. So as you can see, you still have your 170 intact. So you can move this. Okay, there's no need. There's no need. Since we have the two columns here. So here you have your here you have your um two columns. Let me show you where we are. This is where we are currently. So here we have our 3.93701 inches and times a new inch. So we've added it together. So this place is supposed to be like 72. So here we're going to have this times 170 now. So our first row here is 170. So it's going to be 0 0.39 times 170. So you're going to multiply these two columns together to get all your height all in cm so what what would i do i'll just highlight this to hold down your control to highlight the second column so remember that these ones are in decimal so you can decide to change it to decimal you can decide to leave it that way so i'll, I'll just leave it that way so i like the two columns and go to standard and click multiply. So this is our new um, our new height now. So I'm going to delete all these ones. So to delete, you just hold down your control button and you right click control button to you know highlight the second column or the other columns you want to delete. And you right click and click on remove columns. So you can take this one to where your height is supposed to be so that you don't disrupt the table uh, move to beginning. And I just take it down. Please, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please um, subscribe so that I can get some more people and also like. Thank you. So I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to delete the other ones. So I just hold on my control. Let me just shift it. I'll just hold on the control to highlight the other ones that are no longer needed. Then I right click and remove column. So this is now my new height. All you have to do is double click and you rename height. In CM so this will help you during visualization I've actu I'm actually true with this um, with this cleaning I will drop the link um, for my doc uh, the link of my documentation about this cleaning process um, in the description box below please you, um, you can click on it and look at how I documented this um, this did FIFA data cleaning and you can also comment on it or advise me on it and all that we're all here to learn <laughs> hope this was helpful for on your conversions i'm going to do a video up around <coughs> around the other ones my kg how i converted them to lbs and all that please subscribe um, like and share bye <laughs> see you in my next video bye don't mind my voice <laughs>